Hey everyone! So today I am 23 weeks and two days pregnant. Um, the vlog is a little late. I think most of you guys are aware it's late because I was on holiday. Just like a really, really short holiday. We were in Leipzig, Germany. It was like a family trip because my husband's sister is graduating as a veterinarian now. So it was just, it was really, really good trip. Um, basically what we did is we just did some sightseeing. Um, I'll I think I'll just go ahead and um, tell you guys about how the trip went because I think that's gonna go along with kind of how my symptoms have been going as well. Um, yeah, so we also did the gender reveal with his family and we have it on film. I don't know for sure if I can upload it because I don't know how they feel about being on YouTube. But um, yeah, we basically like, we made a cake and we put the pink filling inside and they they thought it was a really cute idea, I think. Um, they're not really used to the idea of gender reveals. Like, uh, it's just, I don't know if it's just not that big here in Germany. Um, we are also the kind of the first of their generation or of this generation to have a baby. So I think to them, um, finding out the gender is a little bit like, you can do that? <laughs> like, they had no idea because back in their day, like, there was just no talk of finding out the gender. So yeah, like, basically, we asked everybody what they thought and most people said boy. I think pretty much everybody in both my family and in my husband's family thought we're having a boy. And I don't know why that is. I mean, everybody just thought we're having a boy. You guys were really good about guessing, but my family, not so much. So yeah, but they're very, very excited. Um, we told them her name and we've been calling her by that. And my husband's mom actually did feel her move. Um, while we were at the graduation party, she was like dancing to the music. I swear it was so cute. And um, his mom did feel her move. So the rest of the days were just kind of filled with, you know, just doing typical sightseeing type stuff. Like uh, we went up to the top of this monument, which was actually like way higher than the Eiffel Tower. And um, yeah, I walked up the whole thing. It was so high and there were so many stairs. Um, it was crazy. So I was like really proud of myself for doing that because um, it's been, walking upstairs, I've definitely been feeling like more um, winded than usual. Like I just get out of breath more easily. But um, yeah, his mom actually made a comment of how I seem to have done really well going up the stairs <laughs> for my belly's gotten really big. I'm excited to show you guys. Um, but yeah, so that was really good. Um, we did a lot of walking around and um, something I did learn from this trip is I think I definitely do not want to do, like we're going to go on a baby moon really, really soon. And I'm very sure that I don't want to do a city holiday um, because, you know, we're going to do it in like two weeks from now. And um, I, I was, I think I did quite well. It's just like, I got really tired. My feet just started to hurt and stuff, so I was just like kind of miserable sometimes, and I got really cranky like when I got hungry and like when I had to pee all the time. It was just, um, it, it was hard sometimes. It's definitely like different than when I was, you know, doing my travels before I was pregnant. It is more exhausting now. But we are going to do kind of like a relaxed kind of camping trip holiday, which I will talk to you guys about when we, when we get closer to that. It's going to be probably around my 25th week. I'm not sure. Um, oh, wait, no, I am sure. It's like May 17th or something. I, I can't remember for sure. But yeah, in terms of symptoms, um, I've been really happy lately. Like I've been um, really bubbly, but um, definitely I've been noticing the difference between my physical kind of abilities now that I'm pregnant, um, but you know, from before. So, you know, there's definitely a difference now and uh, yeah, but that's, but it's really been okay. Um... It was really, it's been really, really hot as well. So like 90 degrees and like extremely humid. So that was definitely not helping with the feeling tired. There really, really was not much that's gone on um, the past week, to be quite honest with you guys. The biggest thing was the trip. Um, nothing really new in terms of symptoms. Um, her movements have just gotten really, really cool and strong. And I definitely want to start filming um, the movements. I just keep forgetting to. Another thing I wanted to say is on Friday, I will be uploading finally um, our baby haul because you know, we did do some shopping once we found out that she's a little girl and I'm gonna have that up on Friday. Actually, something that's kind of funny is like my husband's mom was like so sure this baby was gonna be a boy and my husband has like a, a little nephew who's only about two years old and they basically just gave us like a huge amount of boy things. Um, like, well, there's a, quite a few neutral things like there's some white onesies and things but we did get some things that I don't think I'll put on her like some 
button down like nice boy shirts like I don't think I'm going to put that on her but you know um, we do have a lot of boy things right now um, but my mom is going to be sending me a huge amount of girl things which is good so um, yeah but I think I'll mention because they also gave us toys and things that is everything I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight to the belly shot and I will see you guys for pregnancy week 24 which is just so crazy to think I'm going to be six months pregnant in like less than a week <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, so here is pregnant belly from the front with the shirt on. From the side. And the other side. Here is with the shirt up from the front. There's from this side. Um, as for this little thing, I'm not really sure if it's a stretch mark or not. I really don't think so. I think what happened was I was um, zipping up one of my skirts and my skin got caught in it and now I have this, like, this horrible thing right here because it's just kind of like a bump. Um, but if it's not away by next week, I'm going to maybe consider it one. I'm not really sure. So yeah, there's definitely a difference and she seems to be like hanging out low. My belly will change in height and shape all the time. Like this morning she was all like up here. <laughs> like it was really weird. Like my belly looked huge, but right now she's hanging out pretty low. So yeah. Definitely a big difference from last week, I think. So yeah. I will see you guys for week 24. Bye.